Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. Welcome back to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see what is a check constraint. So, whenever we are creating a table, we use our check constraints in order to input or insert a proper data into a table. So, for example, certain times what happens is you want the data, or like for a column, you want the data to be in uppercase. So, before inserting the value to that table, you can create a condition while creating the table itself so that while uh, while doing the insertion the based on the condition that you have applied it will insert the data so here we can see a very simple example where I'm going to create a table called uh, check tab okay here I'm going to say um, column name as a PID and it's going to be int and it's going to be not null okay then next is going to be name and it's going to be var care of some 20 okay and uh, and the next thing what I'm going to do is we know that the PID is an integer and not null what is what, what in in case if the person types or enters some value like 0 so that it's like we haven't entered anything uh, we haven't you know left the column empty and as well it is an integer value but zero doesn't make any sense right so in order to make sure that you are entering a proper value to it we are going to create a check constraint over here for that you are going to say constraint okay and give a name to this constraint like I'm going to say CH okay and I'm going to say check whether this the PID is uh, greater than 0 so if it is greater than 0 then only allow the value to be inserted into this table or else just you know throw out an error that's what it's going to do so this word is about uh, the check constraint so I'm going to create this table so the table has been created so now when I'm inserting inserting uh, insert into the table called check underscore tab and I'm going to insert a value like I'm going to say simply let me give it a zero and I'm going to say something like uh, Tim so what happens here is so it's you can see the error has been thrown where it's, going, it's saying check constraint the scott.ch is violated it is saying that there is a constraint that's been applied and it's been violated so that means the zero cannot be inserted as it is not a no proper value so for that if you change this to something like 10 I'm going to say 10 and then when I enter you can see one row has been added so this is what exactly the check constraint does before inserting the value to that respective table it first checks whether whatever based on the condition that you have provided during the creation of the table and if it is you know if that condition is uh, valid if sorry if the uh, data that is uh, you are inserting is valid according to that condition then only it inserts or else it will just throw you the error so then you can even alter this table uh, I mean you can use an alter query where you can uh, make the changes even after creating the table that you can alter and say the constraint name and all and as well you can drop the constraint too that is very simple just say alter table and give the table name called check table and you're going to say drop constraint and give the constraint name okay okay so sorry the spelling of the constraint is wrong over here okay so you can see the table got altered now if I try to insert the zero value to it you can see it will get inserted without any issues so you can see the one row is being inserted because we have dropped the constraint so this is what is about the check constraint hope you guys have understood this is a very simple example to, to give you a brief idea about what exactly the check constraint means so um, hope this tutorial is uh, got you know, was useful for you guys and uh, please keep supporting my videos and I will share these videos with your friends and family and um, if there are any queries then please do mail me to be lsql.informatica at gmail.com I will get back to you as soon as possible I am being like 
there are many mails that I have not been responding. I'm really sorry for that. Once if I get time, surely I'll respond to your mails. Um, keep uh, you know, keep supporting till then. Thank you very much for watching.